Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. Normally we only do videos for mods on the most recent version of Minecraft. It's kind of a rule that we have on this channel. If a mod is not updated to the most recent version, we don't do a video on it. There have been like one or two exceptions for that. One I know is Tinker's Construct and now another is Chisel. These are mods that are amazing, absolutely incredible, and have active dev teams. But the problem is they're so big. They have so much awesome content in them that they're hard to update and they take a very long time and are almost never on the most recent version. So because of that, we never do videos on them. I don't think that's right. I wanna do some videos on these mods because I know tons of people use them, I know tons of people want them, I know people, tons of people are having trouble installing them because a lot of them require what we call compatibility mods and that complicates things. So nevertheless, we're gonna be going over exactly how to get Chisel today, but not in the most recent version of Minecraft, just the most recent version that Chisel is at the time you're watching this video. The goal is this video will stand through the test of time as a way to get Chisel no matter what version you're on. Because of that, if you've installed mods in the past, I'm gonna be talking a bit about version numbers here and a bit about how to compare them and things like that. So it's important to think about it when you're going in this video. This is for whatever the most recent version of Chisel is, not the most recent version of Minecraft. First from us though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, playerbreakdowncraft.com on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So go check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running quickly and easily. But nevertheless though, let's go ahead and get Chisel set up. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, which will take you here to a Chisel's official download page. Now on this page, you'll be able to see what Chisel actually does, and it does some pretty cool stuff. As you can see, you can take one block and break it down into a bunch of different blocks. There's actually even a modded block that allows you to break it down into a bunch of different blocks, but you can do this for vanilla blocks as well. If we look on images here, we can actually see some of the different builds you can do. I mean, look at the different bookshelves you can make with Chisel. What about different, you know, blocks and things like that, different checkerboard patterns, all this. All this is done with the chisel mod and these bricks amazing and as you can see so many different textures so many different things and it's hard to keep it up to date because of that nevertheless though we're going to come over here on the link in the description down below it's going to take you to this page on the right hand side scroll down and as you can see we have minecraft 1.16 then we have to look actually at this file and see which version it says mc 1.16.5 that's important enough to write down. You need to make sure you know exactly what version of Minecraft you're using this for. And this is for 1.16.5 because it says chisel-mc 1.16.5. That 1.16.5 and shows you that this is the 1.16.5 version. It's so going on the orange download button on the right hand side. And it will go ahead and take us off to where after a few seconds, Chisel will begin downloading. So once it does begin downloading, we will to see in the bottom left, again, chisel-mc1.16.5. Again, 1.16.5 version of Minecraft. That's what we're focusing on here. And then we're gonna go ahead and click keep. Now your version of Minecraft could be different. By the way, keep keeping the bottom left of Google Chrome to save the file. Your version of Minecraft might be different. It might say for you, mc1.17.1. That's okay. Every time I say 1.16.5 in this video, switch it in your brain to 1.17.1. If it says 1.20, guess what? Switch it to 1.20. That's how long I'm hoping this video will last because we're setting it up that way. Nevertheless, once you've got Chisel downloaded, we need the connected texture mods. CTM might be what you've seen it called before, and that's what it is in the description down below. Download CTM, the connected textures mod. This is required for Chisel. And once you're here again on the right-hand side, we can scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.16, and specifically, we're looking for 1.16.5. But this is one thing that I hate about Chisel. They don't update the CTM version unless they have to which a lot of times means that the CTM version may be for 1.16.1 or something like that and not 1.16.5, which is the case here. I hate that, but it is what it is. Make sure you're downloading the latest version of the CTM mod for the version of Minecraft you're installing. So 1.17, it would be the latest version of that available for CTM. And you usually see that because it's going to be, you know, towards the top. As you can see, this version right here is a lot newer than this version. So this one's closer to the top. So for CTM 1.16, we're going to be downloading this, the most recent version that is out. After a few seconds, the download will begin and we will need to keep or save the file as well, depending on your browser. So downloads here in the bottom left, go ahead and keep the file. Now, from there, we need to download Forge. So Forge is required for the CTM mod, obviously, as well as Chisel because it's a Forge mod. Now, we do have our link to Forge in the description down below. This is the third, fourth, fourth link down below, fourth link down below, and it will take you here. Once you're here, though, you wanna click on this green Download Forge button. Now, it's gonna take you automatically to the most recent version of Forge, which is 1.17.1 at the time I'm recording this, but we're not re installing a 1.17 mod. We are installing a 1.16.5 mod. Remember, that's what we had back here on Chisel's page. It was a 1.16.5 version. So 
we need to download that version of Forge. So come over here to the left-hand side, click on 1.16, and then click on 1.16.5. For you, it may be a different version. That's okay. Whatever version it says, for example, if it says NC 1.18 here, that's fine. As long as you come over here to Forge, select 1.18, and then download the corresponding 1.18 version, right? But for us in this video, it's 1.16.5. Well, for this, we want to come under download latest and then click on installer there. And then it's going to go ahead and take us off to add focus where stop. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Do not click a single thing on this page. Just wait about 10 seconds. And then in the top right, a red skip button will appear. Once you do have that red skip button appear in the top right, go ahead and click on it. And then the bottom left, we're going to have Forge download. As you can see, it says Forge 1.16.5, implying we have the correct version. Go ahead and click keep there and we're good to go. You have now downloaded Forge. Again, don't click anything on this page except that red skip button in the top right. Now you may need to save it in the server screen myself Firefox, by the way, after you click red skip, it's 100% safe to do that. Let's go ahead and minimize our browser. We go ahead here, we will have on our desktop chisel, CTM and forge. All of these are on our desktop. Now, these on your desktop, they're gonna be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. But click on that little windows icon on the top bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Open that up, and then in here we'll find chisel, CTM, and forge. Go ahead and drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, before we go ahead and install forge, this is a good time to make sure that your chisel version, MC1.16.5, you can see it right there in the file name. It's a little where it's, you know, it goes down in the next line, it's a little hard to read, but MC1.16.5. Five, and then Forge, Forge 1.16.5 as well, are the same. So Forge and Chisel should be the same. CTM could be different depending on your version, but Forge and Chisel should always be the same. Now, let's go ahead and start off by installing Forge. To do this, you wanna go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, that's okay. Or if your logos, by the way, your file icons are different from mine, I'm gonna show you how to fix that as well here. But if you don't have Java here, if you click okay and you do have Java, it doesn't work. Anyway, if for whatever reason you're having trouble opening up Forge, what you need to do is download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Now this is an exact, perfect version that you will need for Java 1.16 plus. If you're under version 1.16, for whatever reason, installing Chisel, in that case, you will need to download Java 8, which unfortunately we no longer have a guide on because it's no longer supported by Minecraft. So. Again, our mentality is support the newest version. And so because of that, some of this stuff for older versions, 1.12, eventually becomes outdated. That's the case here. So 1.16 plus though, this link in the description down below, this will help you out how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Just being a Minecraft mod, you need this version. That'll fix it for most of you. Some of you will need to run the jar fix. This is gonna fix your files, make them look like mine, for example, as well as maybe it'll you know turn off Java 8, turn Java 16 on if you do have both versions. So this is gonna take the jar files on your computer and link them to the correct version of Java automatically. Again, simple little tutorial in the description. Then we go ahead and minimize our browser. I'm gonna right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java and click OK. This is gonna open up the mod system installer for Forge where we're gonna click on install client and click OK. That's gonna install 1.16.5 Forge. So as you can see, Forge is now finishing up here. The only reason this won't work, and it might not work for me here, which would be kind of cool if it was, is if you don't have the correct version of Minecraft Vanilla installed. You must have played that version of Minecraft Vanilla for this to work. But as you can see, it's successfully installed client profile Forge version 1.16.5. If you get an error here, what you need to do is open up the Minecraft launcher, right? We're gonna be doing this process here in a second, but open up the Minecraft launcher, click on installations, create a new installation, and then select the version you are installing. For example, in this case, it would be at least 1.16.5. Create the version and click play on it, right? Then once Minecraft's opened up, close out of it, and you'll be able to repeat the Forge installation process in this video, right? because you need that to be able to basically get everything running and working. You need the vanilla version of whatever version of Forge you're installing for it to work. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and close out of the launcher, click OK here, and then we actually need to open up the Minecraft launcher yet again, right? So once you've got the Minecraft launcher open here, we wanna make sure we're selecting the Forge version. So as you can see here, we have Forge automatically selected. And the most important part is that under Forge, you have the version of Minecraft that you're installing Chisel for. So in my case, that's 1.16.5, which correlates with our Chisel version of 1.16.5, right? So that is good. We could go ahead in this case, click play, click play again, we're good to go. For some of you though, it won't be the case because you've got newer versions installed, so on and so forth. You wanna play a newer version of Forge and this version, for example, that could work. Nevertheless, to do this, if you don't have 1.16.5 here or you don't have Forge here at all, you wanna click on installations at the top. You wanna make sure that modded is checked, by the way. And if it isn't, if 
will make Forge appear. Click play, you know the process from that point on. However, if you click modded and a Forge doesn't appear, or it doesn't have the correct version of Forge, not the same one as Chisel, click on new installation here. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that is our amazing Minecraft survival server. If you're looking for the best survival server out there, come play this on Breakdowncraft. 150 players online every single day. We have amazing survival, amazing, amazing quest, amazing everything. Come play this. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Nevertheless, let's go and clean the versions drop down box here, and we want to select release 1.16.5 dash forge. Now, unfortunately enough, mine's up here towards the top, but you may have to scroll down a ways to find yours. And I'm talking about a long ways, even sometimes at the very, very bottom. But it is in there if forge successfully installed. You want to go ahead and select it right like so. I'm going to go ahead and change our resolution. Click the green create button, and then we want to go ahead and click play on our newly created profile to get Forge opened up. You can also check this if you don't have to go through this every time. You're just agreeing you're playing mod in Minecraft, by the way. So now we're going to go ahead and let Minecraft open up. I'll do a very quick jump cut to the Minecraft main menu. Now, if you do have issues opening up Forge here, it's because you have other mods installed. You need to uninstall those mods for this to work. And in order to do that, just go to your mods folder, remove those mods, so on and so forth, and you should be good to go. Uh, but nevertheless, I will see you on the Minecraft main menu. So from the Minecraft menu, main menu, we want to go and click on mods, and then we go and click on the open mods folder. Now, I'm going to show you very quickly how to get to the mods folder outside of this, just in case for whatever reason, Forge or Minecraft doesn't open. But nevertheless, what we want to do is go ahead and take chisel and CTM and drag and drop them into this mods folder, right like so, right? So again, we got there from mods on the main menu, and then open mods folder, then drag and drop chisel and the CTM mod, connect textures mod into this mods folder. And once you've done that, you have installed chisel, right? You're good to go. It's just not here. We need to restart Minecraft. But if for whatever reason you're having issues opening up Minecraft with Forge after you have, you know, changed your version or whatever, what you want to do is simply click the little those icons in the top left of my screen, bottom of your screen most likely, type in run, then open up the run app here. And then in this app, you want to type this percent app data percent. So percent sign app data percent sign hit enter. This is going to open up your roaming folder where you'll have dot Minecraft. Click on that. And then in here, you will find your mods folder where you can manage your mods, right? The same mods folder we were just in. It's got chisel in it because we added that. But if you have other other mods in here, you can remove, delete those, all of that stuff. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher again. Make sure we're launching with our, you know, chisel version, right? So as you can see, 1.16.5 there, 1.16.5 forge. We're going to go ahead and click play. And now Minecraft is going to open up with chisel installed. That simple, that easy. It's a lot, but making sure the versions are correct is the biggest deal here. Once you decide chisel 1.16.5, I'm looking for 1.16 all the way through. We're good. Once you decide that, the rest of the process is actually relatively simple. I will meet you on the Minecraft main menu to showcase Chisel. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. If we click on mods, we will see Chisel and Connected Textures mod. Awesome stuff there. Most importantly though, we're gonna create a new world called Chisel to really show this thing off. All right, let's go ahead and make creative just for the ease of use. See ya in the world to show off this amazing mod. So here we are in game. I've already got Chisel selected in creative here. You don't have to be in creative to use Chisel, by the way. You can use this in survival, which is really, really cool. But you can see all of the different blocks here and there are hundreds of them, different variants. However, let's go ahead and make some. So first off, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a Chisel, of course. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab some blocks. That, uh, that'll work, which is pretty cool. Go ahead and grab cobblestone. We will grab stone as well. And I believe oak, maybe even oak planks. I'm not positive on the oak and oak planks, but I know they've worked in the past. And then I wanted to grab uh, some, let's see here. What other ones are quickly that we can just kind of show off here? Brick, that was one that I think is pretty cool as well. Let's go ahead and search for brick. Just get some normal bricks here. So now let's go ahead and go into creative or go into survival just to show you that this does work in survival. If we left click with chisel, it opens up this kind of dialogue and then we can add our block up here in the top left and see all of the different variants. You can also change different stuff. You can see a three by three square, for example, and different stuff like that. But let's go ahead and grab a custom stone brick here and look at this. Look how awesome that is. And it connects in such an amazing way. I love it. All right, now let's go ahead and, by the way, you want to change these stone bricks? You, you can do that. You can change them to something else. So if we wanted to do, for example, this style of stone brick next to it, we could, right? We can, like, encase it in this style of stone brick if we would like, right? So tons of different options there for what you can do. Let's go ahead and move on to bricks. We'll do, I guess, two types of that as well. Let's go ahead and put bricks in here and you can see tons of different brick options. We'll go ahead and grab these. These are, these are very interesting, different sort of a, a brick texture. Go ahead and go kind of like a two by of that. And then we'll go ahead and I'll line that with another sort of brick texture. You can really see how these can play together here and how pretty they can, they can honestly be. It's overwhelming how awesome these can be. This might not look good, by the way. <laughs> I am by no means a Minecraft designer. Yeah, this doesn't look the best, but it could look worse, I guess. 
and all the way around, right like so. So you can see the different textures there, how they play off of each other. So let's go ahead and just run through these. I won't place them all down, but you can see oak planks, all the different stuff you can do there. Oh my God, these are so cool. Could you imagine like how you can use a, like, make a barn with that texture? Look at that, like that's awesome. And then there's even some other cool ones. I said I was gonna place all these down, but I just love this mod. I'm so sad so many of the modern mod packs don't have it because it's just not updated. But you can tell it's just, it's so much detail. Updating it is quite the process, and it just can never maintain the most recent version of Minecraft. I've always hoped that would change, but um, but yeah. I mean, if it does anything, we've not done a video on this since, like, I believe 2016. So, quite a while there. Oak logs, can't do anything with those, unfortunately, but you can with cobblestone. Tons of different cobblestone options here. Uh, this is one of my favorites. It's this white texture in the center of cobble, which just looks really, really good. And then we can also do... Um, where the cobble go, we can also do something a little darker as a barrier or a border rather. So look at that, you can border it with something like this. Oh, and you can even see how those connect. Look at that, absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning. Anyway, there's, oh, look at that, how it connects to the corner as well. <clears throat> Love it. So there you go. That is kind of an overview of the Chisel mod. Um, amazing mod. One of my favorite Minecraft mods of all time. As you can see, the Chisel does wear down over time. But uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. And 10 out of 10. The best Minecraft mod, or one of the best Minecraft mods out there, especially for builders who like a bunch of different textures. So thank you all so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, more awesome mod content, more awesome Minecraft server content, and things like that. If there's an old, old, mod that you would like to see me do a video on. Maybe we can start doing those once a week or once a month or something like that. If so, let us know in the comment section down below. We will check it out. But my name is Nick. Come play with us on PlayDoubtBreakdownCraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, and I'm out. Peace.